everybody welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your drift tires at home without bringing them to a shop without paying for them to change them and all that and hauling them to the shop so today I found a solution for us drifters to change our rear tires I don't recommend doing this on nice wheels because it is a manual tire machine basically and um, you can scratch your wheels but for your burner tires that you're constantly changing, this is definitely the, the way to go if you want to do it at home. Alright, so there you have it. This is my new manual tire changer. I got it for $120 brand new at Princess Auto. And basically, yeah, I paid $120 Canadian for this, so it'll be cheaper for you US guys, obviously, if you can get it. Uh, maybe like a Harbor Freight or something like that will have something similar, but uh, this is what I did, and I'll put the link in the description below to the uh, product I bought uh, so you guys get a good idea of uh, where you can find one. So there's my ghetto installation uh, mounting spot for my tire machine and um, you know it's probably not going to be my, my permanent spot because it's a little bit sketchy but it does seem really strong. I reinforced it quite a bit. Anyways uh, there's definitely a lot of other ways you can mount those things. Uh, by far the best would be to mount it and bolt it into concrete using uh, concrete hardware to do that. Uh, that's what they might recommend in the manual anyways and then Basically the second best thing to do is uh, to bolt it to a uh, wood foundation of some sort like I did, uh, old rotten sandbox. So whatever you got laying around, uh, just make it work, right? Now that we got that thing set up, we're going to go attempt to change some tires. I got like about 10 tires. I got 10 times 10. I got about 10 tires to change here, uh, basically just to get um, some drift spares ready for whenever I need them. And uh, yeah, let's go try the new machine out. And I just about forgot we need to make some like uh, slippery solution kind of to help you get the tires on and off uh, around the bead. So I'm going to go make some solution uh, to help me lubricate those tires and I'll be back to put some tires on. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take all the air out of your tires, which I've already done to mine, and then the next step is we're going to break the bead. years later So, so far I got two tires changed, there's definitely um, 
a little bit of a technique to it. It was a little bit of a struggle there on the first tire, but uh, the second one I got I got better at it. So um, definitely a good way to save money in the long run. Uh, if you don't mind doing a little bit of manual labor to get those tires changed instead of uh, hauling them all over the place to get them uh, changed at the shops and um, ultimately uh, paying for that every single time. So 120 bucks Canadian. You do the you do a couple hours of work every weekend maybe every weekend depending on uh, how much tires you're burning off but just practice you'll get it eventually well, I have about six more tires to change right now but I think what I'm gonna try to do is I'm actually gonna put my GoPro onto like the tire the tire rod and the B breaker and like give you like the first the first person you are the tire bar you are one with the tire bar so let's go change a tire first person shooter style Secure! changed all of these just changed all of those tires with that um, that manual tire changer and I definitely recommend it to anybody that's looking to save money in the long run and time running around with your tires going to shops getting them to do all that because uh, realistically you really don't need to balance your drift tires because it's just unnecessary you're drifting on them they last a few laps in the dry and you toss them it's just a waste of time to, to uh, balance them so highly recommend this manual tire changer definitely worked awesome for me once you get used to uh, using it I mean you get dirty that's the name of the game if you're a drifter you know um, you got to get down and dirty at the track wherever you are so that being said I recommend this if you want to change tires by yourself and also I'm like the type of guy that doesn't want to go asking people and I do know people at tire shops that do help me out they'll do it for free but I just would rather not bother them and um, kind of waste their time. I'd rather just be able to do it myself. 120 bucks, good to go. Now basically all I have left to do is uh, pump all these tires up. I have a little compressor I'm gonna use. And then I am good to go to slap tires on and shred them off. Everything worked awesome. I was really surprised um, that my mounting spot actually held up, that the, uh, the actual unit, the tire changer held up solid. Definitely a solid unit and I'm really happy with how it went. So that being said, that'll be all for today's video and I will be back with more cool drifting content soon.